What you're about to see on here is the putting together of the mechanical part of a one-arm bandit. The one we're working on in particular is a standard mechanism from around the 1950s and 60s. You'll see that it's been totally stripped down, it's been cleaned, degreased, and we're now going to build it up. So here you can see our, all the components from the clock, the uh, stop arms, the payout discs, shaft, kicker, and all the other components. So we're going to take all of this from the bench and build the whole mechanism from the ground up. Okay, so the first thing we're starting off with is the base plate. As you can see, this is the front, this is the rear, and on the sides we'll have the posts. So the first thing we'll put in is the posts which go here, which hold the coin slides. Next scene is the anti-cheat device. We'll put the clock mechanism in. So here's what's known as the horizontal fingers. So we put these on here, it screws at the front and at the back. There's two here and two here. Let's do the back part first of all. Before we put the slides in, we need to put this back piece in. It has these hooks that the springs from the slides connect to. So we're going to put this on the back. So here's the slides for the payouts. And uh, if ever you take these apart, make sure that you keep them in the order because they have different thicknesses that determine how many coins are pushed out. So starting from the back, let's lay this one down here and you'll see that goes just on the bottom there. Now we're going to hook that on just down here. Once the slides for the payouts are in, we can then put the top cover on. I'm just going to do it finger tight. So there's the timing bar and there's the arm that's going to hold the slides, the payout slides in position. The timing bar goes on top. The clock arm here will fit onto the timer bar here and this fits just here. Once we've got the bulk of the centre of the mechanism in we can now introduce these. So we're going to put these on. So the first one over here goes on there. It just has two bolts. Now when we put this side on we have to make sure that in this slot here goes the timer bar here before we bolt it down. So it goes just in this slot here. Now 
Now that we've got the screws holding the frame, we can now concentrate on connecting the timing bar here. Now there is a spring that goes on the timing bar on this little hook here over to here. This is the arm that holds the slides forward. So the next thing we're going to do is put the kicker arm on here. This is this component and it's this that goes back and flicks the discs around which in turn spin the reels. So we've now got the kicker in here and we'll finish connecting that up in a moment. But while we've got this space open just here, this is where the vertical payout fingers drop down. And that's these things here. So when you put the fingers in, they have to go through here. And you have several slots, make sure you get them in the right ones and they also line up with the slots down here. So now we've got the fingers in, we need to put the bracket that's responsible for pushing all of these vertical fingers back out of the way of the spinning payout discs that spin round up here. So to do that, this goes on and it has a little rod that goes through, but there is a nut that goes on the end. So we'll put this in. This bracket needs to be held up out of the way, because if I leave it down, this gets caught. So we push this forward. We then put the little push rod in. So this arm goes into there and in the back so we hold this up and this can go in and this is the main control arm that's going to go in We can tighten up these brackets. Now at the moment the clock isn't moving because we need to put a spring going across to pull on this. This lever attaches down the bottom here and it's this that goes from left to right as you pull the handle. It also has a spring attached on there. And then we can then push this lever here and that just sits underneath this it's it's this that controls the movement of this bracket that pushes the fingers out of the way we can attach the spring which goes from the clock onto here one of the last things to put on the back of this is this back plate across here and that's what it looks like and that's going to go across the back. So we've now got most of the mechanism back together again. If we turn our attention to the front we need to put on the front here the brake arms which are these things here and they're going to go at the front on there 